Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship preview video and today this is my take on the RMS Pretoria Castle of the Union Castle line and uh, this is what I've come out with uh, a ship that had a career of around 30 years before being unceremoniously scrapped so this is uh, that and I don't know if there was uh, sister ships of this thing I think there may have been a couple of the class but this is the one I took upon to do the Pretoria Castle bit of a difficult one to spell, this is my, my eyes anyway. Anyway, this is what I came up with, I spent building this over a course of about four or five live streams, and I'm sure some of you would have seen it, but this is the finished article, and the pre uh, reason for these videos is to show the finished article and to give your opinion if you want a tutorial or not, and as per usual, if you want a tutorial, then just say, and I shall add it to my to-do list. So. <laughs> Here's a look around the finished article, around the back end of the ship. I did have some trouble with the stern because the stern is a bit like the Queen Mary on the real ship. It's meant to sort of point at back and then curve inwards, but I thought I'd just do the usual egg shape on the back there because I'm a bit simple. Uh, yeah, so that was that. And uh, apart from that, everything else is fine. Well, apart from the tip of the bow, I may, may redo the tip of the bow in time, but overall, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I'm not going to give the full specs of the size of things because it is you know, my design, uh, and it is running under my scale as well as around, I won't give the full scale around, but it's, it's to do sort of around the same scale that I'd build my other ships as well, so just to take a running guess on that one, but this is the finished article, the Pretoria Castle, and like I say, as per usual, if you want a tutorial, just let me know, I shall add it to the list, also that one over there as well, I'll do a preview of that one in a minute, so just a quick look around the bow. Like I said, the area on the tip of the bow, the, it's on the white part which I had a bit of, uh, which I'm not quite happy about, so I may redo that area just up there, but the rest of it's fine, I think. Uh, it's got a bit of a shear. And, yeah, not too bad. The uh, promenade deck is uh, one block higher than the rest of the decks, just to incorporate everything. And what I do now, because I, cause I use pillars, I use wood fence pillars, I put the pillars in one block so I can have them. I can have the... Uh, handrails on the outside like they do on some ships and they don't look too bad in my opinion there were some areas where I had to improv as well because there aren't many pictures of this ship at least on board anyway uh, so I had to improv and make up a few bits but overall I'm quite happy with the overall thing and I'm sure a lot of you out there who have better knowledge of these things will correct it as you went along so there we go so that's just my uh, disclaimer there so if you're not happy with how it looks I'm sorry well, not really. Uh, you can just go ahead and make your own changes. But that's uh, the finished article of what I did do anyway. And uh, there we go. So that's Pretoria Castle. I'll just fly out to the front end. And like I keep saying, if you want a tutorial for this sort of thing, just add it, uh, just say in the comments and I shall add it to a poll at some point. And uh, we shall go from there. So uh, there we are. So this is Rich. Signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return with another video very soon. So bye for now.